Hi, my name is Murray Guy. I am the owner of Integrated Designs, a project management and commissioning company that specializes in high performance buildings. Today I wanted to talk to you about the art of commissioning, part one. Warning, do not commission, do not get lead certified. Why is it so important? A lot of uh, people treat commissioning as something as an extra. Um, we feel that it is an integral part of delivering successful projects, as does the Canadian Green Building Council. That's why they've made it a mandatory requirement. Um, for me, I, I worked for Honeywell Controls for 10 years. I found it was the only way I could um, not be on call and um, end up over the next year in your warranty year be getting callbacks. And so I like windsurf and time off, so I integrated commissioning into all of my projects. ASHRAE has come out in 2005 with the, the Bible for commissioning, ASHRAE Guideline Zero. It basically defines commissioning as a quality-based method to achieve successful projects. The purpose is to reduce the cost of construction projects and increase value to owner and occupants. Um, we need to think of commissioning as a quality control process, just like Deming did for the automotive industry. We need to integrate it, quality control, into the process from start to finish. And we also need to think about it as um, a commissioning agent is a project manager's best friend. Very good on the coordination part of a project. The first stage of commissioning is to um, Clearly define the owner's project requirements, develop a plan to achieve those requirements, that enable all stakeholders to be successful, assign the right people to deliver the plan and hold them accountable, and the commissioning program starts with making sure the design meets those requirements, and we use a systematic approach that has been developed by NEB, um, the Design Phase Commissioning Handbook to verify that the design meets the owner's requirements through three sets of design reviews. The next stage is to develop a commissioning plan based upon the scope of the project to make sure that all systems are commissioned properly. We then have to integrate the commissioning program into the contract document so that the contractors understand their roles and responsibilities. And we have to have uh, engage the commissioning team in the commissioning process and I picked this picture for a reason because sometimes it's not all everybody understanding commissioning and knowing what they have to do. It's a little bit of a scrub to get everybody participating in the in the process. Once we have the team fully understanding the commissioning process and bought into the commissioning plan, we need to then start verifying that the equipment and systems are installed as per the contract documents, verify the systems function in accordance with the contract documents so that there's no more half-dead zombie controls out there, verify that information is reliable and flows to the appropriate destination, conduct, once all the systems have been functionally tested to make sure they perform independently, we conduct a final integrated system test to make sure that they all operate in emergency power mode and in life system safety situations. Once occupancy is achieved through substantial completion, we tune building systems to make sure that we get the quality indoor environment that we've paid for, and we measure energy use at the end of a year and verify it against the model to see that to, as a final check to make sure that the building systems are commissioned properly. Through this process, we should involve the operators in the commissioning process so that we have a, a successful transition to sustainable operations. Um, we find our most successful projects, this happens to be Manitoba Hydro, we had three people from their team join our commissioning team so that we left people behind that completely understand the systems. Until it is tested, the design is not true. Commissioning is all about that. We feel that commissioning is to successful projects as wind is to windsurfing. Thank you for uh, taking the time to listen to our introduction to commissioning. And there's lots of good information on our process at www.i-designs.ca. Thank you. And there, we will have a second video on lessons learned on some of our projects. Thank you.